Okay, so we've had the warm up matches now, let's get some training done. Okay, let's um, focus on. We're only playing 10 minute games because we don't seem to get um, any seeks, any responses to the seeks for the 30 minute games on this old chess.com. Looks like this 10 minute seek is looking a little bit rare. Okay, so let's crack on, let's push through the centre here. And let's attack the pawn, keep it simple, and push through the centre like we like to do. So I want to look at the pause moments where I'm actually thinking, hmm, how do I build from this? Okay, this looks pretty straightforward, just capturing. If the capture would take the queen off the board. Okay, let's just grab the knight. And then take here. Now, I'm not really a fan of what goes on next here because we kind of end up in a strange looking position. It looks advantageous, but black, if they play it correctly, ends up kind of getting a better position. I'll show you what I mean. So we attack the pawn here because it's got no protection on it. The knight's now attacking this pawn. So if we did take this pawn, he takes our pawn. So if we develop our knight, it's almost like we're going to be down a tempo and black kind of, strangely enough, wins some sort of odd tempo. Now they're attacking the knight. So if they take the knight, then they take the pawn here. So I'm actually going to push this pawn to protect. So it's kind of like a slow process now. Uh, I think black is playing it okay at this minute uh, until they've done this. I don't know if that's a set player thing though or not because did they win something back? Uh, it can't be a mouse slip because it's come all the way down. If it was coming to anywhere else it would get taken. So we're going to take it off the board. Take it off the board, the knight takes. Does that improve their position on the board? My phone's going like crazy over there. Um, I, I think that's a blunder. I do think it's a blunder, that one. Okay, we'll, we'll capture here. Oh, it's maybe not. See how fast they moved into that position. Damn, I've, I've been set up. Uh, I've been set up. So if we bring the bishop here... So we're still protecting the knight and the pawn if it does capture. Oh, what am I doing? He can't castle, but he does move his king out of the way, does he? Puts pressure here. I feel like I've fallen into a set play thing. They've gone slow, but when they go slow, it's like they're thinking about what it is that they've created. I still think that bishop move was a blunder, but he's capitalize mm, maybe not okay but then his king does move okay that's no problem because we can double our pawns uh, okay let's go here so we're still a minor piece of the opponents trying to collect my god my phone is going like it's on fire um, Yeah, okay, so we're still up the minor piece, so don't mind doubling the pawns in this situation. Have to be careful now. <clears throat> okay, so they've come back protecting the pawn. This pawn is pushing down onto the bishop, obviously, so we just need to move the bishop out of the way, don't we? Yep. So we know it's going to get tapped, but are we a trap? Are we trapping ourselves in here with the bishop? If we come here, is that going to be a little bit better? Makes it look a bit more alive. Yep. Okay, and it's blocking this centre pawn as well. So it's still coming down. So we're going to attack two pawns. Bishop support in this side here. So maybe we'll look to exchange the rook off if they're going to go that way. So 
So he's come back central again. Shall we see if he wants to exchange the rook off? We've got sights of potentially coming here, but yes, so he does actually take. So if we take with the king, he wins tempo with his rook. Let's go here with the bishop. And let's attack one of these pawns. Just taking it easy. And am I losing out? Bishop's got this pawn here, so if he does take, we take. But then, let's just bring this pawn here, just to make sure it doesn't get taken by the rook. So if we take with the bishop. King's coming down. It's moving still like it could cause us some problems. Let's go here. It's quite annoying when they're moving, you know, smoothly and fast, and you think, man, are they getting a position on me? King's protecting these key squares here, so there shouldn't be too much to worry about there. Could put a check on his king, he comes back up and protects. Just put a check on checks first. He's not protecting his pawn. Is he coming down to try and condense my king? I don't think he can fit down. Take the pawn. Uh, shall we attack the king attacking the pawn he's got the passer willing to sacrifice the bishop if need be oh he's taking the pawn here damn I don't like it when they do this ok so he goes there if he does take bishop's got sights off here so we can block and then put a check on the king if he does take the pawn and take his pawn but he is close to our king I might, I might be getting squished looking for some fancy business if his king is there oh god yeah if he takes then we put a check on the king he has to move though don't he so he can't stay there so he'll have to come back right that's fine no panic So he does go for it, so we'll put the check on, because that was a nice position there of him getting that, but he can't do that now. So he's gone to the far side, if we do take this pawn, he's still going to try and, he can't come down here, so that should work out for us. Let's grab. Now he's attacking this pawn, our bishop can go here, his king can't squeeze down just yet. I believe that's the way to go, isn't it? Let's go here. Uh, oh, we can't take an any time. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Why don't I see it like that? So he pushes, we take, and then his rook comes down. He's on our bishop. King's on the back. Let's do that then. So we can lean on him, but he's going to lean on our bishop. So we can go here. Uh, yeah okay let's go there puts the check on we move up he's really coming down to try and squish my king isn't he I'm going to put a check on his king just to try and circumvent some stuff and he's down so let's put a check on his king again support from the pawn Get him away from our king. He has to come down here, doesn't he? Ooh, interesting. So he's down. And now we can start pushing, can we? Yep. Uh, yep, let's push. Where's his king? His king's far away from our king, so at least that's a bonus. Let's keep pushing. He's got to be sacrificing something, isn't he? Oh, and he's going to get back to um, actually get the pawn. I don't really want to chase his king around. Check, 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 check. Can I get his rook off the board? No. Um push 
this rook goes to the back then we can go behind the pawn okay let's push and they abandon the game okay um just a quick look at the situation there yeah so potentially they were looking to go here at which point we can push but then obviously they can go here then our rook potentially goes here and if he stays there obviously then um, he's going to have to do maybe a king move or something just to make it look good he can't come any further bishop can come here because the rook is protecting so then obviously attacking the rook so he's going to lose the rook anyway so he's probably going to have to sacrifice his rook just to get rid of the pawn so that was a quite an interesting game 